Hey everybody, this is Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs, and today I'm going to show you the new Cricut Design Space iPad app, and let's get started. So you would download the, from iTunes, you would download the iPad app from Cricut, and it is the white icon there on the bottom with the Cricut head. Uh, this, I'm using an iPad 2. The iPad app works with any iPad that is a 2 or newer. So only the original one that doesn't have the camera can you not use this So uh, with the iPad. It is not available for Android yet. Sorry about that. Uh, when you go to the opening screen at the top, you'll see this little head. And that actually is where you're going to log in and also where you will see um, the machine setup and app overview. And also there's an online help guide that will be there. Um, and uh, Cricut Terms of Use. All right, so let's get started. So you click on that machine setup and overview and you have two options. You have new machine setup and you have an app overview. So the machine setup actually walks you through absolutely so easily everything you have to do to get your iPad um, connected with your Cricut machine. All right. Now you do need to make sure that your Cricut it has wireless capability to be able for it to talk to your uh, iPad. And um, then there's another step that shows you a little bit about the screens that you're going to see on your iPad app. And also will it lets you know that um, your functions are down here now. So all of your editing features are on the bottom. The other thing I love is that there is a gesture summary uh, screen that you can go back and refer to because obviously your iPad is a touch screen so you'll need to learn a few little touch screen um, differences that you'll do and then it also shows you the map preview and what it's going to look like on your screen. So all of that's available on the iPad app and then uh, it'll show you the Bluetooth, Bluetooth connection for the Explorer. It walks you through setting all that up. And like I said, it's super easy. Um, it's it's really uh, been well designed so that you don't have any uh, concerns about getting started. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that it has a great new look to it uh, from Design Space, so that it uh, the images are larger. Um, what you'll see is the the photos here are from the Make It Now projects, and you'll notice up here. In the right corner, you'll have uh, projects, design, and map tabs, and the course. Then you'll have your image set. Um, if you click one of the images in one of the Make It Now projects, it shows you the Make It Now project with the photo. It also has the directions. It lets you know if there's a cost for that particular uh, item if you don't already own it, um, and then. Um, so that's what the Make It Now projects look like. Now let's look at if we're going to do a design. So I've clicked on the design link here. This is what your new screen looks like in Design Space that you'll use on your iPad. So you would, down in the left hand corner there is an insert images button. Next to that is the, where you insert the text. And then you have all of your functions. So actions, edit, sync, layers, undo, redo, um, so let's go into uh, inserting an image. So I hit the insert image icon and now I'm up in my images. So you'll notice that this is also a really cool um, look to it because the images are bigger, you can see them a lot easier, and you would be able to um, do searches in several different ways. So first of all, we're just going to show you manipulating an image and then we'll go back and look at the categories and so forth. So here's an image on your screen that I imported. It's from Frozen. And then you'll notice that there are now four icons that are around your image. And the lower right one is the one that you drag it, you drag it so that it changes the size. You can also go into Edit in the uh, tray down here. And up in Edit, you would be able to also change the sizing, just like you can in uh, the desktop version. So I've made the image larger. Now I've grabbed that little red handle 
um, the arrow handle, not the red one, uh, the arrow handle, and I've turned this. So it actually lets you rotate your image. So if you're trying to fit more on your mat in a certain way, you're trying to maybe weld some images together and so forth. The, the lock down here on the bottom hand side does, allows you to um, unlock the proportional change that you get with the other arrow and so with the proportional I can now manipulate my image so that I can make it tall skinny whatever it does not stay proportional so I've just dragged my image down uh, by holding it and dragging it the little red X up here that is how you would delete the image any image that you have on design space that you don't want to see okay um, and so we've got the images on here and we have all the different icons down here um, I'm able to go in and I can change the sizing of this I can flip it I can do so I'm in the edit panel basically the next thing is um, you have your once you go into your image you have your um, layers panel and the layers panel uh, you know shows you how your design is set up and what colors you're using and so forth um, you can click on a layer so then it shows you you know what the image is um, if it's a cut file or not if you want to change that you would then click on the little arrow next to your image I've moved my image over to the left on the screen here because this pops up to the left. So now I'm looking at my um, screen that tells me whether I, if I want to change it to cut, draw, score, or print. I can change the color here um, and you do that by just moving your uh, finger around to the different color zones. Now I'm in the sync panel and the sync panel allows you to then sync up any of your colors just like you do in uh, design space okay so I'm able to go in I can make I can adjust the different pieces by going in and changing the colors um, I change this to a flatten to make it a print and cut and what happens is print and cut is the one is one of the two features that you will not have in your iPad app in the iPad app you're not able to do any print and cut so a little message pops up and lets you know that you now have an image on your mat that is a print and cut file and it will not print out so it will warn you and let you know that now you can save it um, anyway, so I changed it to a cut file, and then this is how the mats look. So once it goes to the mat, it'll go through. You'll notice that there's two little arrows on each side here, and that allows you to scroll through your mats easily. You can even skip a mat if you don't want to cut that one out, or maybe you went back in and you're trying to recut something. Um, when you, if you go to insert a new image, it'll tell you you have a new Im you have an image on the mat or you want to keep this image do you want to um, move on in the lower left hand corner was that next to the icon where you insert the images was the text box so when you do the text box this is what's going to pop up and it'll it'll give you um, it'll automatically default to the Cricut alphabet it'll give you a little box that just that you insert your image, your uh, font into whatever word you're going to type, and then it'll let you go in and change that so that you can then pick from your list. You will have access to your um, system fonts. So any system fonts you've already uploaded into your regular Cricut Design Space account, you'll be able to uh, use those on your Cricut iPad. Now, I've just gone in here and I've started manipulating the image. I typed in the word Elsa. Um, now I'm going in and I'm changing the colors um, uh, in my layers panel and making sure that, you know, I get that the color that I want. And now I'm able to, um, uh, you know, change, change that. I can change the size. In the lower left-hand corner before you hit go to cut this, there is a little settings 
uh, dial and that lets you have access to metric units so you can use this in metric and not in inches. You can turn the grid on and off. I have the grid on in my screen. And then also smart guides. And smart guides help align and position objects relative to other items on the canvas. Um, up in the upper left hand corner there's a little, it looks like a little floppy disk and that is where you save your files. So it comes up and it says you're, you want to save the save project and you would click on that and then it'll actually go in and ask you uh, what do you want to name the file and then um, anything that you save from your iPad gets saved to your Cricut.com Design Space account so you will have access to anything you already have saved and you will also have access to anything that you do save on your iPad you'll have it in your desktop version. So here is um, next to where that little icon head was there's three dash lines and when you click on those dash lines that is how you will find my project so I'm in the beta version so I can't show you what my projects look like in there right now but if I clicked on my projects it would come up with everything that I have like in a tile section like the make it now and it would show you exactly what I have um, that's a save one of my saved projects so there, this is the list of sorting through any of the Make It Now projects. And so I'm just kind of going through here and picking. That was Cricut, proje Cricut Free Projects, and then I clicked on that, and then it popped up some Cricut projects for me. You can also go in and um, th the other search features that you have available to you are going through categories. And in categories, you can browse, and it starts off by letting you browse through brands. And so I selected Anna Griffin, and now it is, is populated all the Anna Griffin uh, image sets that are in there. Um, this one was, I changed it to Arts and Entertainment, so it has broken it down into some categories that are very useful when you're trying to just, maybe just see what's out there. So maybe you don't know a particular image in mind that you have. Um, this is showing you that there are the free weekly uh, designs from Cricut that they allow us to use and so there's a little box here that says free weekly and then there's one that says recently added and recently added is where you would be able to click on that and be able to find anything that Cricut has just added to design space so you never miss out on any new images that are part of the design space library okay the next thing over are how you look for cartridges and image sets the cartridges Yay, are now in alphabetical order, so if you're looking for a particular cartridge, you can scroll through that. Um, it also allows you to go in and just search by name for a particular cartridge. So here, and then it pops up and it tells you which cartridge it is that you're looking at. And over next to where the search bar is, there's a little funnel. And in that funnel, it has different, um, how do I say this? It has different choices for you that would allow you to select based on your ownership. So if you own it, it's purchased. Um, if it is something that's free, if it's part of your subscription, it'll tell you all of that. Okay. So I went in and I'm in. I was in the um, Three Birds on Parade. And then I told it I wanted everything that was a phrase. Then I went in, and instead of that, I went in and I uh, clicked off of that. And I just, in the search bar, I did a search for birds. So it pulled up everything in the Cricut library that has birds on it. Then I wanted to know what are, using my filters, I could go in and tell it I'm looking for birds that are on cards and envelopes. And then it populated cards and envelopes for me. Okay. So it's really great to use the filter feature, um, and it really enables you to uh, find some, narrow your search down pretty quickly. The other thing is um, there are filters, in the filters there's free images, so it's an easy way for you to find anything that's a free image, so you can scroll through that. I can also go in and look for anything that's 3D. A lot of people ask, Debbie, I want to make a 3D project, I've never made one. How do I find 3D images? So you could go into filters and whatever, if you want to pick a particular uh, type of filter, uh, 
the 3D image, you, I did boxes. Um, so once I did boxes, then it started, it populated and pulled everything that was a 3D image and was a box. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. It, it populated all the boxes for me. So as you can see, it's very powerful as far as doing searches, which will be really nice. Um, in design space for us to be able to uh, use that in on the iPad app to help us uh, get to our images quicker. I'll be showing you more about the design space app as, as, as uh, soon as it's released because there's a few other things that I want to cover with you guys but I wanted to give you just a quick overview today. Please follow us at the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group where we're all learning uh, and sharing together. And um, you can find me at scrapmequickdesigns.com. And there again, my name is Debbie O'Neill. And thanks a lot. And I hope you found.